and probably they had potential to go all the way to the top and make a great living at it, and it's going to pass them by for the simple fact that they didn't go to a good, reputable school. I'm not saying that just because I'm a trainer, because there's other schools out there. Scott Demore has a great school. Booker T has a great school. The Malinkos of Florida got a great school. And that you can go wherever you want, but make sure it's a good school somewhere that has some students where they went somewhere, somewhere where you can have contacts, and someone that will help you get bookings. Make sure you have to do that before anything else. Sorry, I like to ramble sometimes. <laughs> No problem. Uh, we got a caller. Hold on. Uh, see if this, you mind answering questions? Oh, not at all. That's fine. All right. Uh, hello, caller. You are on Hit the Ropes. Hey, it's John. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, John? Got a question for Truth Martini? Yeah. Um, how many years do you think it takes for a wrestler to get into a business after from training? Now, when you say into a business, do you mean like one of the bigger companies, or what do you mean? Yeah, you know, like a TNA group or Japan or like WE. Okay, well, that it all depends. It all depends on the students. Again, like earlier, early if you were listening, it took my student Zach Gowan nine months to make it to the WWE. It took my student Alex Shelley four years to make it to TNA, and it just varies. Uh, I remember when I first started in '98, I was on a show with Tess. Uh, the kid who passed away. Um, yeah, it, after his 10th match in Independence, he got signed by the WWE. It just varies, you know? And again, the other guys from this area, guys like uh, Rhino, because I'm pretty good friends with Rhino, it took him six years to make it to the, e to the ECW. It's pretty much what you put into it is what you get out, how hard you push yourself, how many bookings you take, because you have to, first you have to, uh, you got to get your name out there. Again, out of sight, out of mind. If people don't know you're out there, ain't nobody going to know you exist. And I remember back in the day, Jimmy Jacobs and Alex Shelley, they would travel eight hours to go work for IWA Mid-South. Are you guys familiar with that company? Right. IWA Mid-South? Yeah. Uh, eight hours every single weekend. Eight hours there, eight hours back. Sometimes double shots because that company has good art. They've done Smart Mark video a lot. And, and they sell DVDs all over the world, IWA does. And they did that just for that, just for that purpose alone. And then it paid off. After a year and a half of that, that's when Jimmy Jacobs went to Ring of Honor. That's when Alex Shelley went to TNA, all because of things like that, you know. They are good companies. Uh, but I'm sorry, but to answer your question, it, it, it varies. It definitely varies. It depends. Guys can get signed right away. Some guys, my trainer took him 12 years. My trainer, Al Snow. It took him 12 years to get signed to the WWE. It took one of my students nine months to get signed there. It, it, and it just varies all in between. It just depends if, if, you know, if you got what they're looking for at the time, because they always change their mind on what they're looking for anyways. It happens all the time. One month they want, you know, chiseled-looking guys that are short and quick. The next month they want, you know, six-foot-eight guys, nobody under six-foot-five, you know. It just, it, they always change their mind. This is what mood they're in that day. Yeah. But again, All right, any other questions, John? Oh no, that can be it for now. All right. So, uh, uh, are you? Uh, where Where is the radio station taking place at? I, I forget. I'm sorry. Where are you guys located out of? Well, we're out of. Uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, we're out of uh, Detroit, Miami, and uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I remember hearing a few guys mention that you guys call it hit the ropes, correct? Correct. Right. Yeah, yeah, I heard. A, uh, yeah, I actually heard a few workers talk about you guys. You guys are doing pretty good, pretty good for yourselves, huh? Oh, that's that's uh, awesome. I love to hear we're getting talked about. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, definitely, definitely. Yeah, because I I've heard that I've heard that name a few times. Hit the ropes radio. So. We're back right. up. now. Now, for those, um, you know, we, we've talked a lot about your your training and, and what it takes to get in the business. Um, let's let's go back a little bit and and uh, what are you, what is your biggest uh, achievement as a wrestler? You know, you, you know, you you've been in WWE. What was your your moment that you can you know you hold on to? Okay, I know exactly what it was. To be honest, okay. It was my first match I had for the WWE. And, again, when I started wrestling, I started actually a little late compared to other people. I, I trained. I started training for a pro wrestler when I was 23 years old. 
And uh, usually guys start at 18, 19, but I started a little late, but that's okay. But as a kid, I remember me and my cousin, because I was just like every other wrestling fan, you know. We'd had our wrestlers that we loved and we mimicked and all that kind of stuff. And I remember that when I was a kid, I used to imitate Howard Finkel, the ring announcer, a lot. You know, because I just thought he had a great, great voice, right? So, like, in right. My, me, and, me and my cousin, we would always do that. We would imitate Howard Finkel all the time. And I just remember my first match for the WWE, there I am behind the curtain, and now Howard Finkel is announcing me. And just something clicked right there, and I was just like, that is, like, it was just surreal. It was, like, almost, like, unreal. I was like, you know, I used to imitate this guy when I was a kid, and now here he is mentioning me, you know. Here, here he is announcing me. So, so that, that was, like, one of the first moments where we're just like, wow, this is, like, incredible. This is what I, this is what I worked hard for. It's starting to pay off and all that kind of stuff. That, that's one of those moments that I'll never, ever, ever forget to hear Howard Finkel announce my name. And that just goes back to, like I said, I just used to imitate him as a kid when I was a kid. And, yeah, that moment to me was incredible. That was awesome. Yeah, um, we're still waiting the day that uh, Howard Finkel calls out hit the radio, but you know, you know it'll happen you know, within the next <laughs> day or two. I'm sure. <laughs> it's all it's all good. Uh, but um, for for those who are who are you know wanting to get in the business, they're they they think they're ready. They've got their fifteen hundred dollars, or or they're they're ready to work out a payment plan if if you do so. Uh, yeah. Throw out the uh, House of Truth website for them to so they can get in contact with you or your MySpace. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, the House of Truth Wrestling School website is, is simply hotwrestlingschool.com, hotwrestlingschool.com, hot standing for House of Truth, of course. So it's hotwrestlingschool.com. You go on there. It shows all the students I've trained, and there's actually a commercial there too to give guys a little because. Nowadays, uh, to my understanding, a lot of people don't like to read as much. People have, like, you know, sh 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 shorter attention spans. So I actually made a commercial for the school. The commercial is on the school. You'll see guys on the commercial, guys that come to the school quite a bit, guys like Alex Shelley, Chris Saban, Jimmy Jacobs. Sabu was also there. He also did the commercial with us because he, he lives in the area also. And these are guys that, again, and they didn't say it just because, uh, they were told to say anything, but they, they pretty much do testimonials for the school. You'll hear Alex Shelley and Chris Saban say that this is the school to go to because they've been around. Sabu was there. Again, uh, Sabu has great respect for me because he knows that I'm not just the guy who's out to take people's money. And uh, a lot of students that I produce, he's actually worked with. And so a lot of people recommend me uh, over other people. I've had students from Australia. I've had students from Mexico. It's not that I just get students from Detroit. Actually, my least clientele are people that are close by. So people have come from all over the place. I got this kid that just got done training with me. Uh, he lives in Chicago. His name is Juice Robinson. This kid's going to be a superstar, I'm telling you. He is great. He has the look. And he's only 19 years old. And he moved. Again, he, he took the effort. He moved in from Chicago, moved to Detroit, lived here for over three months, trained with me. Now he's working everywhere, you know, and it's just... So yeah, uh, the website is hotwrestlingschool.com. Go on there. There's all the information. There's a link also to my MySpace on there. You can send me an email. You can go to my MySpace, look at the pictures, look at the watch the commercial and all that other stuff. And again, uh, I, I challenge anybody out there to go ahead and you know do research, look at other schools, look at their prices, look at what they offer, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, and go ahead and make the choice for yourselves. But Definitely, uh, hotwrestlingschool.com. Yeah, you definitely have the reputation. We need to get Demetrius over there, and, and we need to we need to tape like a uh, so you'll want to be a pro wrestler and, and just have you just do your thing, you know, and, and just <laughs> wear him out. Like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Demetrius, you're more, you, you are more than welcome to come down whenever you want. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'll, I'll, when we get off the air, I, I, I'm going to work this thing out with you, with your truth, and and figure out what we can't do to because we like to inflict pain and suffering on our uh, co-host Demetrius at, at any available opportunity. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>
All right. Well, well, 